What's good? Welcome back to another episode of DX Daily. This podcast is brought to you by Hip Hop DX, and here is where we keep you updated on everything that's happening in hip hop music culture. I'm one of your lovely hosts, Asia Sky. And I'm your other host, A Dub. It is Thursday, and we had our 4th of July weekend recap already, but it looks like we missed something, okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Meek Mill and Travis Scott got into a little altercation at the Hamptons all white party that went down. So we'll get into that. Also, Nick Cannon has spoken out on having multiple kids in such a short time span. And he talked to the City Girls about it, of all people. Yeah. <laughs> now, speaking of City Girls, Missy Elliott has directed their new video for Torculator. Isaiah Rashad from TDE has announced his brand new album. And DX Rising star Young Blue has announced a brand new album, too. So let's get down to it. Okay, so starting out with Meek Mill and Travis Scott. They were in attendance at Michael Rubin's all-white party that went down in the Hamptons for 4th of July weekend. And word on the street is they got into it a little bit. Yeah, we missed that part when we talked about it yesterday, but rumors began to spread that um, a potential argument between them two was floating around from an Instagram page called Du Moy. Mm -hmm. um, page 6 also followed up with details about it, saying that um, it brought the party to an end at 1.30 a.m., which is wow. pretty early yeah. to end a celeb party. To end any party, especially yeah. <laughs> 4th of July weekend, 1.30? Exactly. So, wow, um, this must have been deep. <laughs> Right, they're saying that they were in a shouting match. They were in a shouting match, and they pulled away from one another before things escalated. That shows footage that Meek Mill was like loudly screaming at Travis and everything going on, but people still don't know why they were even arguing in the first place. Right. What mm -hmm. What do you think they were fighting over? What What was the argument about? I have no clue. Like, have they ever like partnered up before? Like, are they have they been friends? Like, they've collabed in the past. They've had songs together. Yeah. Hmm. I think it might have been over a Kylie. I don't know. Something something tells me hmm. that. Little little female maybe, girl maybe drama. Maybe Meek was a little saucy, tried to holla at Kylie. Kylie was probably there in the mix. Yeah, probably. Hmm. I could see that. You know, a little twisted and Meek Mill try to holler. Yeah, and Travis get a little upset. Mm -hmm. huh. I can see it happening but we still don't have an official reason that's just our speculation on it mm -hmm. <laughs> but something we don't have to speculate on is how many damn kids Nick Cannon has okay so he's got seven all together and four of them have been fathered in just these past six months so you know social media has been going crazy we've been seeing the tweets on it mm -hmm. all the jokes but Nick Cannon recently had the city girls on his radio show and while he was interviewing them JT actually had some advice for Nick Yes, she said, wrap it up. And Nick Cannon was like, give me, like, hurry up, like, finish it, like, wrap it up. And she goes, no, wrap it up as in wrap it up and protect yourself. <laughs> so that's her advice to Nick Cannon is just to wrap it up. Yeah, he thought she was talking about the interview at first. Like, all right, go ahead and wrap up this interview. Right. But no, she meant, like, wrap it up. <laughs> yes. Nick also went on to say that he's having all of these kids on purpose. This is intentional. He said, I didn't have no accident. He also said that there was a lot of people that he could have gotten pregnant, but he didn't. Hmm. So he's saying this was a conscious choice. Like, this is a concentrated effort to spread his seed across the uh, continental United States. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so interesting to me that um, that's, like, what he's trying to do. And in, like, in another interview that he did, like, a couple months ago that somebody brought up was where he was, like, he was told that he was going to die soon. And, like, for oh. him to, like, you know... He have does have baby. lupus. He ha he has lupus. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe that is part of it. I didn't even think about it like that. Yeah, he was on um on the Howard Stern show is when he mentioned it. And he had that talk about it. And so it kind of... I guess it's putting two and two together. We're like, it is, it is an accident with all these babies. Like, he's probably trying to do something and, you know, have a, have a legacy left behind. So... Right. Type of thing. And we haven't really heard any of the mothers of his children complain about him as a father. Mm -hmm. So it might be working out for him. Uh, young Miami actually chimed in after JT told him to wrap it up. And she was basically like, YOLO, you only live once. And Nick Cannon said, there it is. You only live once. So that just goes back to him feeling like he wants to do as much as he can because he only lives once. Exactly. And if that means having a bunch of little babies, then... Go go ahead. Hey. Hey. Different strokes for different folks. Period. Now, since we're talking about City Girls, let's talk about Missy Elliott directing their new video for Torculator. Yes. Legendary. Epic. To have Missy Elliott direct a video for you? Your whole music video? That's crazy. Yeah. So on Wednesday, July 7th, uh, Missy, she put that videographer hat on and the Torculator video dropped. 
And of course, it was elaborate. Of course, it was creative. So many different fun visuals that just popped. They were they were popping to the eye. Like mm-hmm. Missy, Missy, we know how she is with music videos. Like we we don't have to even go that deep into it. You know, when you talk about Missy Elliott and you talk about music videos, you know what you're getting. Yeah, every music. Every Missy Elliott music video has been so iconic. Like, you remember each one. You remember a catchy dance from each one of them. So I think that's really dope that Missy Elliott got in her bag to do that for the City Girls and do this Twerkulator video. Yeah, I mean, and since she's in the mood to be creative, why not put some new music out? Maybe a video of her own. Yeah. Or she can go ahead and just step out there and do this verses that she's been playing with for <laughs> we don't know how many months. Mm-hmm. Like she's she's talked about it. She's mentioned it before. So you might as well go ahead and do the verses, Missy. Yeah, Missy, come on out. Where are you hiding? Let's do this. Yeah, we need we need more content from her. But speaking of new content, we are getting a brand new album from TDE's Isaiah Rashad. Uh, Yep, it's called The House is Burning and it's coming on July 30th. So he announced this yesterday. He put up a post on Instagram and the caption said, The House is Burning, 730. That's all he wrote. Yeah, I saw he put on Twitter. It looks like a... A legit house is burning, but it's like drawn like a, it's like almost like a kid's drawing. Yeah. That's how they're promoting it. So, hmm. And he's got his name on on the album cover and the rainbow letters. I'm I'm feeling the creative direction so far. I want to know, like, what is the subject matter of this going to be? Is he going to speak about why he's taking this break for all these years Mm -hmm. and what he was going through on that break? Like, he revealed that he suffered with addiction. Is he going to be talking about that? Is he going to be talking about family life? Like, I wonder what he's going to get into on this. Yeah, I wonder too. Um, so it's going to be interesting. It's a sophomore album, and I'm excited to see what it comes out like. Oh, and on the subject of new albums, DX Rising star Young Blue has announced that he's putting out his debut album, Moon Boy, this month. Yep, it's going to be dropping on July 23rd. And he dropped it on Instagram with the artwork in the caption. He says, I want to give a special thanks to every fan that made this possible. Every person who ever believed in me. I overcame so many obstacles this year, so many personal struggles, so many losses. It feels good to drop my first album and tell my story. Masterpiece. My day one fans, I especially appreciate y'all so much for the love and support leading up to this. Yes, and you can tell he meant this. Number one, it was in all caps. Number two, that wasn't even a whole caption. There was more to it. There was a couple more stanzas okay, then. Um, in that <laughs> caption. So that boy, Young Blue, was just pouring out his heart. You can tell he was super, super excited about the release of this album. Mm-hmm. And we've seen him in the studio with a few people. Like, we saw him with her, with Chloe Bailey. So yeah. I'm hoping that some of these people we've been seeing him with pop up on this album. Yeah, I hope so, too. And um, Young Blue, like, his sound is already kind of unique. It gives you, mm-hmm. like, he raps, sings, R&B, heartfelt type of different vibe. So I'm curious to see how his first album's going to be. Nah, this is going to be good. Mm-hmm. And he announced the Moon Boy tour to go along with the Moon Boy album. And on this tour, he's going to have Anne-Marie, Seti Hendrix, and Nobi. So to not only be dropping the debut, but to have the tour already lined up and popping off, like the tickets go on sale tomorrow for this tour. Yeah. So he's got everything lined up. This rollout is is cut and dry. It's, it's, <laughs> it's ready as they come. And he also dropped his new single, which is Baddest, featuring 2 Chains and Chris Brown with the video. Busy man. Look yeah, at him. Come on, Young Blue. You better <laughs> have your ducks in a row. This is how you do it. <laughs> no, the video for Baddest is basically Young Blue, 2 Chains, Chris Brown, all at a block party type of vibe, fun, energetic, that type of thing. So mm-hmm. he's doing the damn thing. That's what you call a DX Rising star right there. No, definitely so. We always say that everybody who's on that DX Rising list always comes with it. So, mm-hmm. you know, not surprised that Young Blue is out here doing the thing. We love to see it. That is going to conclude today's episode of DX Daily. As always, subscribe to this podcast on all platforms, wherever you get your podcasts. I'm talking Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Podbeam, Stitcher. You can go on the iHeartRadio app, any app of your choice. We are there. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Also, make sure you subscribe to the Hip Hop DX YouTube channel. We going crazy over there as well. We got the voiceovers popping. We got the DX news popping. Right. uh, I think we're we're number 18 trending on one of your videos, Asia. you know, on the entire YouTube, you know. (laughs) millions maybe even billions of videos on youtube but uh we were we were 18th 
trending. Ex exactly. And then also, while you're following us on our YouTube and everything, be sure to follow us on our Instagram and our Twitter at Hip Hop DX. Yep. Follow us too at Asia Sky is what I am on everything. A S H I A is Asia. S K Y E is Sky. You can follow me on everything too at A Dub. That's A Y E E E D U B B. Yep. We will see you tomorrow to kick off your weekend with more daily news. See ya. Bye.